Okay, in the Bible, we have two forms of prophets. We have major prophets and we have minor prophets. Some of the major prophets are this Daniel we spoke about, um, Isaiah we spoke about, and some of the minor prophets are the Micahs and the Habakkuk, because it based on their test and what they give out at. So by now, if we were in the Bible days, master prophet would have been one of the major prophets. Oh, you didn't say amen. Oh, 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 I didn't hear better amen. So uh, Daniel is a major prophet, and the name Daniel comes from two words, Dan and El. Dan and El. And the word Dan, D-A-N, simply means a judge, a judge. And El comes from the word Elohim, and Elohim is God. So when we connect them together, it simply means Elohim is my judge. God is my judge. I thank God that God was not my lawyer. And I thank God he was not my magistrate. But he is my lawyer, uh, my judge. Because when God becomes my judge, he has the final say in the courtroom. When we, the, the, the judge has the final say in the courtroom. So if God is your judge, it doesn't matter the opinion other people have about your life. When God says yes, nobody can say no. Somebody say Daniel. Oh, say Daniel. So by now, you know that Daniel simply means God is my judge. And the judge is the one who has the final say. You can never bribe the judge. And I thank God that I'm a Christian and you are a Christian. A Christian simply means I come from Christ. Because if I'm from Ghana, I'm a Ghanaian. So if I come from Christ, I'm a Christian. So if I'm connected to God, there is no devil in hell that will go and bribe the judge who is God. And God is going to have the final say in the life of somebody here tonight. I said God is going to have the final say and something great is going to happen for you. So right now we enter into the book of Daniel and the settings and the background of the book of Daniel, we find ourselves in a land, a pagan land and it's called Babylon. Somebody say Babylon. Oh, say it one more time. Uh, Babylon right now is not only a place, but Babylon is a system. What is the Babylonian system? It's a system that makes sure that every now and then you are a slave. It's a system that presses you down. It's a system that causes you to worship money. It's a system that causes you not to give your money to God. Uh, it's a system that is always trying as much as possible to crush you down. So the people of Israel, they are in a strange land and it's called Babylon. Uh, why? Because they have moved away and now they are in slavery. And because they find themselves in slavery, somebody is dictating to them. And when you are a slave, who, who, who is a slave? A slave is somebody that somebody tells you what to wear. Somebody tells you what to eat. Somebody tells you the time you are supposed to sleep. You sleep very late and you wake up early in the morning. Huh? But in the name of Jesus, any power of slavery, I came to stand here as a prophet of God huh? that is broken by the hand of God. Huh? Somebody shout, it is broken. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, say it one more time. Say it for the last time. 